boss, you're back. You seem a little pale. Are you alright? Huh, well, I'll make sure that that meeting is scheduled then. And what time did you need him? Okay. Um, no, it's just usually it's a little too early for their team, so. No, I can definitely tell them that it's urgent. Mm hmm I will get right to it. Um, yeah, everyone should be gone soon, actually. Uh, it is pretty late after all. I think there's one meeting left at room C. Let me just check that. Uh, department F. Oh, they should be wrapping up in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could definitely set up room A instead. Alright, I'll see you there. Um, hey, you really don't look good. Do you need me to bring anything? Oh, okay then. I'll, I'll make sure. Sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, alright then. Well, let me just make sure that everything is right and set for you um, tomorrow and I will be with you in like five minutes. <laughs> this will be quick, I promise. I still have to set that meeting for you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. I promise. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, everyone in room C has just left. Uh-huh, yeah. John is the only one securing the area right now, and, well, he knows, so there's no one else we should really worry about. Would you mind if I sit right next to you? Okay. <sighs> Looks like you're meeting with the, uh, other company didn't really go well, did it? <laughs> yeah, I could tell by how pale your face looked. Hmm. It's... It's a minor setback, but I'm sure you'll figure out a way to rebound on that. Oh, come on. That's not a total failure. I'm sure you did really well. But like they said, it's not the right time for them to have a deal with us right now, so I'm sure you'll find another company that might work. No, I don't think... I don't think you'll miss Target. Really, I don't. I've been looking at our progress, I've been looking at our pipeline, and we still have a lot more to go before you can call yourself a failure. <laughs> you really want me to prove it? Alright, fine. This notebook has all my notes and all our meetings since the day I started working for you. So, you can't tell me that I was not listening to any and every conversation you had with any and every partner that we got. So... Let me just see here. Alright, so there's this section right here we go. There's the section right here that states our pipeline. And as much as I hate drawing all over my notes, you need to see this and this. You're pretty close to dealing 
with these guys. And you're also pretty close with closing this group. Well, I noticed a pattern actually. Um, I would say like once you hit <laughs> this many meetings, um, you've got about like a 50-75% chance that you're closing them. Besides, you said it yourself, you can feel it in your gut. So what does your gut say right now about company A, B, and C? Right, see? I told you, you can definitely nail both of these. This one, I'm not so sure yet, but this one, I'm sure you'll get it. So yeah, sure, we didn't get what we were looking for today, but that's really not a need for you to panic. <laughs> you always panic in the middle of the month, and then all of a sudden, you are able to hit your targets. And maybe if you aren't, you're the closest person to hit target before anyone else. So it's not the right time for you to start doubting. <laughs> See, I told you so. The math does not lie, and your secretary does not lie either. <laughs> All right, then that's that's a good start. Let's look forward to what you have for the week. Let me just pull up your calendar. <laughs> you know me. I prefer writing over typing, when, especially when it comes to your most important dates. So tomorrow, with your emergency meeting scheduled for um, 10 a.m. with this group, um, you also have this group right here. You have a, a 2 p.m. meeting. Are you looking to reschedule that or... No? Okay then. No, it's okay. I have them already confirmed and they're ready to go. Um, their boss just arrived from uh, Switzerland and they're excited to see what we have. So There's also this schedule at 4 p.m. I'm not sure what you really want to do with it. Uh-huh. Okay, then let me just see if I could reschedule that too. The next day then okay and right i forgot you also have dinner arrangements with your friends you mentioned having a reunion <laughs> i would love to come with you but well you know we're not supposed to get caught so I'm not sure people will be discreet when it comes to high school reunions, so. <laughs> well, I'm really flattered and I would love to go, but I don't want to risk what we have right now, so. <laughs> Babe, I... It's difficult to be in this position, really. I need this job, too. I... I love working for you, and I really love what we have right now, too, and... As much as I'd love to go and be by your side in this important day, I... It's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. And I hope you are too. <laughs> I know, it's it's not easy. Yeah, it, it sucks, but company policy, you know? <laughs> Besides, I don't think any, I, I don't think either of us have really planned for, for a situation like this. It's, <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's going to be easy for me, babe. 
you have a wonderful job and you're doing amazing. You're doing incredible. I'm just a secretary. I don't think it'll be easy for me to find a job out there right now, especially in this economy. <laughs> we'll hold out a little bit longer. I will find a way out of here, and when that happens, we will be free to be together. But for now, we'll have to endure this. <sighs> oh, please don't think that way. You should know that I really, really really hate it when I miss these huge events of yours. I want to be part of them too. And at the same time, I'd like to be able to invite you to these special events of mine as well. I'd like to introduce you to my friends. I'd like to, you know, be able to <laughs> go around my favorite restaurants with you. There's this really good sushi place that I have been meaning to have you visit with me, but it's too close to... Yeah, it's, it's too close to Sarah, and there's a good chance she might catch us over there, so... There are so many things that I want to do with you. But we'll have to wait. And, hey, you know what? If we really are meant to be, we'll be able to go through this. One of us will find a way out of the company, and I'm pretty sure it should be me. <laughs> and, yeah. We'll be able to do whatever we want after that. <laughs> I know, it's, it's hard having this conversation. Especially if we've had it over and over again, but... I'm really, really thankful for your patience. It's, it's not easy for both of us. But I'm glad that you understand. Honestly, if I had a dollar for every single time I was thinking about you when I'm in a place far away from you, I would probably be rich enough to be able to leave this company. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know. You want to help me financially. It's not going to work. You know me, I'm very prideful. <laughs> Oh, trust me. I've thought about that before. And I don't want to... I don't want to ruin what we have with money. Besides, I think it's just too early. <laughs> Here. I actually brought you your favorite drink, so... Let me just pour one out for the both of us. Here you go. And this is mine. All right, cheers. To one day escaping this issue of ours. <laughs> That tasted a little bit better than I expected it to be. <laughs> Maybe I am being a little bit overdramatic. But hey, you were the one who started the fireworks, I guess. <laughs> mm. Don't worry, John won't talk, I promise. He and I actually got into this whole deal. A deal that involves money, yes, but it's better that the money comes from me than you because you know the company has your account um, monitored, right? If they suddenly notice that a couple hundred bucks are disappearing every month without any reason, you might be in trouble. I may be uh, slipping in a couple of bucks to him from time to time and treating him to some pizza while he guards this place. 
I mean, it's the least I can do for him keeping our secrets. You know, secrets that can cost us our jobs. Well, yeah, as much as I hate doing it, it has to be done. So, him and I had a little bit of a deal. He is actually... Well, he knows which room we're at, and he's deleting the footage of whatever is happening in this room right now. We could just easily say it's a glitch or something. I don't know. You, he'll come up with something. He's hidden other secrets in the past, too. And quite successfully. Don't ask what his methods are. I don't want to know either. <laughs> so, yeah. Whatever it is that you're thinking right now. Whatever it is that you want to do. <laughs> you know, you're free to. <laughs> I know what I just implied, and... Hang on. It's... It's getting a little bit hot in here, isn't it? Let me just... Take my... Blazer off. This is... <sighs> oh, really? You want to take off yours, too? Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hope John is not watching right now. <laughs> You're right, he's probably seen worse. I think he has. I don't remember, but... Didn't we... That one time... Before Christmas... <laughs> yeah, he probably seen that. See, it's a good idea I actually pay him for his secrets. <laughs> now where were we? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we switched from having an argument to suddenly wanting things and... All right then, I agree. Let's be a little safer then. Start slow and maybe... Well, maybe I can slip out of here 10 minutes after you leave and... Well, just let me know where to go. But I'm definitely not letting you go right now, especially... When you haven't even complimented what's underneath my blouse. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you're looking. <laughs> Fuck. Your hands really feel good when they're on me. Careful. You don't want to make things a little too hot now, do you? <laughs> mm. Hang on, I want your lips too. Mm. <laughs> I really can't wait for the day where we can actually do this in public. <laughs> well... You know, I'm a little bit of an exhibitionist. That's why it's actually hard for me to be in this relationship. I'm doing my best to endure. Hmm. If I had it my way, I would be bent over against the windows. And you, and you can have me your way too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm really in the <laughs> right now. <gasps> this is getting too risky. <sighs> I know. Fuck. I can feel you right now, and you're really turned on, aren't you? Hmm, but no, you're, you're right, we need to cool down a bit. Hmm, hang on one more. Hmm, <laughs> fuck. 
Oh, I'm gonna need one more so we can have that. <sighs> right. Why don't you grab your jacket again? And, uh, wave John goodbye, and <laughs> I'll see you in 15 minutes. Where do you want to go this time? Yeah, that hotel sounds really good. I'll, I'll um, finish up here and I'll follow you afterwards. Yeah, just message me. I'm down for anything, really. Steak, pizza, burgers. Listen, I don't really care about <laughs> what you're thinking of feeding me, so long as you uh, <coughs> feed me the right type of meat. <laughs> All right, now just go, please. I don't want to be teased anymore. <laughs>